Whenever I arrive from Canada into the Beijing International Airport, hop into a cab, the driver invariably peers back at me and asks after hearing me speak Chinese, Ni shen na guo ren. What country are you from? But I test him by saying Norman Bethune in Mandarin, which is Bai Chouan. And the response is always, ah, Janada, Canada. The single most important reason for the deep relationship between Canada and China is Norman Bethune, originally from small town Gravenhurst, Ontario. He was a Canadian physician, a medical innovator, a tumultuous romantic, and a noted communist. He came to international prominence first with his service as a surgeon during the Spanish Civil War, which, by the way, was a co celebra for left leaning intelligentsia across the Western world, including many prominent artists and writers. But it was Bethune's service with the Chinese army in the 1930s during the Sino Japanese War that would earn him enduring acclaim. He brought modern medicine. To rural China, and he would treat sick villagers as much as wounded soldiers. His selfless commitment made a profound impression on the Chinese people, and Chairman Mao wrote a eulogy to him that would be memorized by generations of Chinese people. Bethune died of blood poisoning in China. There, with his death, Bethune. Became the Chinese model for the ideal foreigner. He is hero to a billion and a half Chinese. Statues in his honor can be found in cities throughout China. Although little known here in Canada, Bethune in China, trust me, is a household name. There is an aspect of Bethune that for me is luminescent. He was an artist, a serious painter. About art, he says, and I quote, Art itself never dies. Art itself is a great, ever blooming tree, timeless, indestructible, immortal. The artist needs, among other things, leisure, immense quietness, privacy, aloneness. The environment in which he has his being are those dark, sunless, yet strangely illuminated, warm, pulsating depths of the world's subconscious, the other world. He comes up into the light of every day like a great Leviathan of the deep, breaking the smooth surface of accepted things. The function of the artist is to disturb. His duty is to arouse the sleeper, to shake the complacent pillars of the world. He reminds the world of its dark ancestry, shows its present, and points the way to its new birth. He makes uneasy the static, the set, and the still. In a world terrified of change, he preaches revolution, the principle of life. He is an agitator, a disturber of the peace. Unquote. Increasingly feeling the need for political action and irritated by the resistance to change in Canada's political and medical systems at that time, and thwarted in love. Bethune left Canada forever in 1936. In so doing, he ceased to be a Canadian national and became an internationalist, a citizen of no country, his only home, the anti fascist cause. Wow, it's starting to rain. That's it for now. As we say in Greek, Yasu, or in my other favorite language, Pangyomen, <laughs> Zai Jen.